embarking on the Macaulay Christmas Tree Hunt 2022 22. edition. I've been able to spend some uh, extra time with my family um, during this already planned off season. We went into the forest to cut down our Christmas tree like we do every single November during my off season. Normally we have snow up there so we can sled down the hill with our tree and it's a lot of fun. But this year we just hiked up and back down the hill. Um, we're able to find the perfect Christmas tree. Um, usually the trees in the forest are more Charlie Brown, scraggly Christmas trees. So um, it probably sounds really silly, but it felt like this was like the first thing that went right for me in a while. It gave me the idea to start a gratitude journal since I was focusing on a lot of all the negative repetitive things um, that had been happening so much. I'll probably make a video about that um, later because I've used gratitude a lot in um, tough times to help me in the past. Um, hiking though um, to get the tree showed that my pain had decreased a lot. So I decided to try to run on my treadmill and see how it felt. I am gonna try to see what it feels like running for the first time in <laughs> Two minutes and fifty one seconds. Point one miles. Feels okay. It just also feels awkward. I haven't run on it in forever. Yeah. I don't know if it's a dumb idea or not, so. It's probably a dumb idea. It's probably a dumb idea. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and that was a really dumb idea, <laughs> but it at least reinforced um, that I need to get all of this done and not try to put it off for, you know, until the next, um, uh, at the end of next season. So um, earlier this week, I was able to get a call from uh, Dr. Grimm's scheduler and she was able to uh, get me a, su a surgery date on December 30th. Um, and I am so, so grateful that we have a plan forward and path to get there, but I really wish that it were sooner. Um, we could get surgery as uh, soon as December 19th um, because of the COVID dating um, 30 days. I ha can't have surgery for 30 days after a COVID positive test um, for concerns of blood clots um, and complications, not for concerns of um, the doctors. But um, So after Dr. Grimm's surgery on the 30th, we're going to go get um, Dr. Williams to repair the hernia on the 9th. Um, I have to do the surgeries in this order because uh, they have to put about 150 pounds of traction on my hip to open up the joint capsule for the labral surgery. Um, it's been uh, hard to feel really focused in my training um, and um, for what I've been able to do because I haven't had a clear path and plan going forward of how we're gonna solve everything. I've done a ton of aerobic riding and easy swimming, um, but this past week I've decided to start some focus training um, with my coach. Um, so this week I'm doing about 14 to 15 hours of riding and about 27,000 yards of swimming. Um, that's just done in six swims for the week, just one swim a day that I train. Um,
about three weeks until surgery date. So I'm going to slowly increase my training as my body allows until December 30th and kind of use that date as like a, a peak date for uh, another bonus off season that I'm going to have after, after that. So I am so grateful that we have surgery in the books. I'm grateful for all the amazing outpouring of love and prayers that I've received from all of y'all. I'm grateful that I have a very clear direction and path forward, and I'm grateful that I am going to be able to be out there smashing it in 2023. Um, I just wanted to say what are see what are some of the things that you found um, helpful through hard times that you've had yourself, and put in the comments. Thanks.